Okay, everybody, welcome to this webinar. Um, again, my name is Brian Zajac. I am from the CG School. And uh, today we're going to go ahead and show you how to create a simple WordPress site within an hour. We're going to go from start to finish, uh, from hosting to completion, to just show you how easy it is to really use WordPress. Um, this is a preview of what you would normally see at the CG School. And keep in mind that next week is your last opportunity to save the $300 off this class. For more information, please visit www.thecgschool.com. It's a partnership between CG Architect, Spine 3D, and 3D ATS. So the first thing I want to talk about is why we use WordPress. Um, if I scroll down here, I want to let you know this is from Entrepreneur Magazine in June 2010. They basically report the different types of CMS systems that are out there. CMS stands for Content Management System. And what it basically does is allow you and uh, a group of people to be able to update, edit, and add content on a website at any time. It's all web-based. There's no software to download. Um, and it's quite easy to use. We typically use WordPress as they describe it here that it's made for people who want a kick-ass website uh, that's easy to use. Um, the big thing for us here though is the plugins. There are so many plugins out there for WordPress that it just dominates the market out there and a lot of them are free and very 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 useful. Uh, we use them every day. Um, in fact the cgschool.com uses a lot of uh, the, the free ones and they work just as good as some of the paid ones do. Um, so there are many others here that you have like TypePad, Drupal, Joomla, Vignette, and posters.com and as they go through it here the the difficulty level seems to increase a lot more between typepad Joomla and Drupal uh, vignette we don't even go there because it's very expensive um, Drupal and Joomla are good they're made for a little bit bigger based organizations out there um, and it's a lot more customizable but the the learning curve is a lot heavier to, to kind of utilize the system so again because of the plugins and the ease of use to kind of get started, we typically like WordPress a lot. So why, if I'm going to be teaching you this class, why in, would I go ahead and, you know, even have a class that you would pay for for this? Because you literally will learn in an hour how to create a WordPress, WordPress site. So what I can tell you is, is when you take the class, you can create something that's a lot more customizable to your business. Um, basically, the more you learn, the more that you can customize it and make it a quote-unquote kick-ass site, like Entrepreneur says. Um, if you scroll down here, I'll show you a few things. Uh, basically, with, with the CG School, we're able to go ahead and do a lot of uh, additional plugins, custom widgets. The CG School alone itself has about 15 to different 20 separate plugins that it uses for its site. It has customizable graphics like you see this rotating flash uh, system here. It doesn't, this system here is absolutely completely custom because the, um, the system that we started with, which was WPA Storefront, doesn't allow you to be able to create graphics from all the way from side to side. So we had to really go in and, and tweak that a lot. And you won't be able to know that kind of stuff unless you take the class. On top of that, there are a lot of little details that, that we're going to go through as the class progresses that you'll, you'll know that, wow, this is great to know now, but how do I take it to that next level? And that's really what the class is for. So when we move on to the actual class itself, we're going to go ahead and create a site that's very simple today. And that would be the iMagination development site. Really what this is is just this is what you're going to be making today. So we have a very simple home page, about us, gallery, blog, and contact us. And we're going to just go ahead and make, uh, again, a simple site that you can see here. And then we're going to go ahead and switch it around with a, a new theme that's out there uh, and show you how easy it is to switch from one look of a website to another. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and work on the, um, on the hosting. The first thing I want to mention is that we use Bluehost, and Bluehost, the reason why we use it is it's extremely simple to install WordPress on. Um, in fact, in my professional career, I don't think I've seen any installation quite so simple 
uh, as what Bluehost does. It's, it's very nice, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do right now. So I've already logged into, into uh, our Bluehost account. If I scroll down here and I go to Software Services that you see, click on WordPress, makes it pretty simple. And the great thing about this is, is that you not only can make one website, you can go ahead and make multiple uh, websites within one domain name. So let's say you've got abc.com. Well, you can make a WordPress site, abc.com forward slash site one, forward slash site two, three, four. You can make unlimited amounts. So you can be able to really make a lot of different development sites or just separate sites itself and um, under one hosting account, which is great. Now, that does create complications on some of the stuff like statistics and some other things, but all in all, it's a pretty slick system that they have. So here's how we're going to go ahead and make a, a, a new WordPress site. I just click Install here. We go with the stable version of WordPress 3, and then we're going to make a new directory. I'm going to just call this, um, I'll just call this Webinar. Okay. Go to some advanced options here. Give it a name. We're going to call this uh, CG School Webinar. And we're going to go ahead and just make a, a different um, username and password. I typically don't like admin because I get spammed a lot. So we'll just go ahead and put it the username. And after we're done with this class today, I'll be wiping this, uh, this install out. So <laughs> don't ever go back on this. I'm just showing you how it's done. Automatically create a database, that's definite. You make sure you do that. Um, there are terms and conditions. It's fine. You complete. Now, here's the install. Uh, hold on one second. Let me go actually back. I'm going to name it Webinar 2. Because I had named the previous one I've been testing on webinar, and it thinks that I want to overwrite that. So let me just go ahead and rename it. Apologize for that. We'll go ahead and get that fixed up. And now it's going ahead and install it. Done. That's your website is now up. So I'm going to open those up in new tabs. I'm going to make a front end and we call a back end. So this is the front end. Look, it's done. It actually made a full fledged WordPress. It's it's in there. So I log in. And as you can see here, there's going to be a difference between the two. What we have right now is just the very essentials of just a site, but we need to go ahead and make it into this. So we're going to be making home about us, gallery blog about us, or I'm sorry, contact us. So let's go ahead and get some of the stuff started. The first thing we have to do is do a lot of different settings. Um, and these are ones that I've kind of personally gone ahead and done. You can go ahead and set it up however you'd like, but this is the kind of the way that I start off every kind of WordPress site. So the first thing I do is I go into my settings. Um, I actually should explain to you first really what this whole setup is. Um, you have the dashboard, which is all that you see here. A lot of the dashboard stuff I really don't look at, to be honest with you. I go straight into it, but it's good to have some news on what's going on about the plugins and the newest plugins and so on and so forth. Um, posts are when you want to show the latest information for your website. It's it's your blog. You know, it's just 